Wait for me one second. I don't know why these this size are very messy. Read and listen to good news about a relationship. Okay. That's not this file. I have some good news. My sister. Wait, wait for me one second. Oh, I don't know why we they design this kind of exercise. And infer the marital status of the person in each conversation. That's her ex-husband. Her ex-husband? And that. Who are they? These two are. Two. Okay, now let's listen. Let's listen, okay? Okay. So the first one is, uh, yeah, Mary. 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 The first one is Mary, and the second one we haven't, yeah, we Mindy? haven't listened to the answer. No, you have to listen. Yeah, conversation two will tell you the answer, okay? These two are a cute couple. Who are they? That's my aunt, and that's her ex-husband. Her ex-husband? Yeah, they're not married anymore. Okay, so what's your answer? Divorce. Divorce, yeah, that's correct. Okay, number three. Conversation three. Is that your sister? Yes, it is. And who's that guy? Her husband? Not yet. That's her fiancé. Oh, how nice. Okay. Engage. 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 Yeah. Engage. So what does engage mean in Vietnamese? Uh, um, it's like uh, uh, tình. That's how. Đã được, được, đã được cầu hôn em. Được cầu hôn. À. Ừ. Được không em? Okay, okay. now. Question number four. Conversation four. Who's that in this picture? That's my sister and her husband. Nice looking couple. They were a nice looking couple. They're thinking about getting divorced. That's too bad. Yeah. She's living with my parents right now. So, Asya. No, that's not correct. Separate. So, they haven't divorced. They are living apart from each other, right? So they are separated. They haven't got divorced, but they don't talk to each other. They got angry with each other or something. So they are separated. Okay. 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 Let's move on. I don't know why I can't control this. Okay, now we're going to learn about simple present tense. It's very simple. So, he, she. Okay, when the noun is he, she, or somebody who are, or somebody who is women, then you, ha then you have to add the letter S at the end of the verb. Do you got what I mean? Yes. Okay. Uh, but yeah, yeah, allow me to use Vietnamese in order to help you understand this more clearly. Uh, khi mà cái chủ từ là số ít, được không em? Bao gồm là he, she, he, he, she, hoặc là ít, được không em? Miễn là okay. số ít và chủ từ số ít. Chủ từ số ít. Chủ từ số ít có nghĩa là single now á, được không em? Single now. Thì mình đi với lại động từ thêm She. S. Yeah. Verb thêm S hoặc là thêm ES. Verb thêm S hoặc là ES, được không em? Ok. Yeah, ok. Ừ. Trái lại á, với lại số nhiều. I, you, we, they. Danh từ uh, plural now. Oh, wait for me one second. Plural. 
plural noun chủ từ số nhiều cộng với lại verb để nguyên ok ok verb dạ yeah. verb verb không thôi ok so this is the yeah that's you have to remember this Remember to learn this, okay? That's very simple. You can do it. Okay. So can you make some sentences with it? That's very easy. I will do it first for you. My sister usually wake up at 6 a.m. in order to go to school at 7, 7 a.m. My sister usually wakes up at 6 6 a.m. in order to go to school at 7 a.m. Okay, now your turn. So, wakes, right? We have to add the letter S at the end of the verb, wake. Yeah, you got it? You got it? Okay. Yeah, that's very easy. Right now, your turn. My brother, <laughs> my brother always, uh, plays a video game at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. We usually eat out in the evening. We don't eat at home. Your turn. Um, uh, they are uh, the first couple I've ever seen. You uh, they are the first couple I have ever seen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, talking about. Uh... Okay, I don't think that. Yeah, yeah. So when uh we talk about uh negative statement, right? My aunt and uncle are two people, right? So. They don't work in an office. My cousin is just a one person, right? So yes. you have to add ES at the end uh -huh. of the verb do. Okay, so it my cousin doesn't work at home. Okay, now let's make some negative statement. It doesn't uh, count? Huh? He doesn't come to the party. Okay, that's great. Another sentence, please. She she doesn't um uh, work with me anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. She hates me. She doesn't like me. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, let's go on. Now let's talk about yes, no question, short answer. Okay. Uh, will you play? Uh, do you often play video games in the evening? Yes, I do. Yeah, now your turn to make a question. Uh, do you... Uh... Mm, go shopping every day. Mm -hmm. Does she often ask her boyfriend to take her to a restaurant every day? Mm, no, they don't. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to answer it. It's very easy. No, she doesn't. Not they don't. No, no she doesn't. Okay? Does your mother often go out with your father no mm -hmm. they doesn't no they, they don't. don't no they don't I, no, they, I don't. they don't yeah they don't okay you can answer like that or you can say something like no she doesn't okay okay now your turn make a question just make a question um uh, does 
uh, do do they have a uh, do they have a birthday this month? Mm -hmm. Do they have a birthday party this month? Okay. Do they have a birthday? I have never heard about that. Okay, now let's do this exercise very easy. I'm sure that you can do it. Okay, number one. Uh, you what? Uh, think how? I have no, no, no. Do your cousin have any children? Does Does your cousin have any children? Yes, she has. No. Yeah, she. She. She uh, has. She has, yeah. Okay. Cái này coi như thầy trả lời dùm em luôn. Yeah. I'll answer this for you. Yes, she has. Does your cousin. Does your cousin have. Okay. So we have. We have already at es at the end of the verb do so we don't have to add es at the end of the verb yeah we don't have to change the verb have into has you got it okay yeah yes she has she has two children okay do you know that uh yeah verb uh, the verb has the verb have can be changed to has if the noun is singular. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's very easy, right? Then she has to kiss a girl and a boy. Okay, now your turn. Number two. Do your in-laws live in Do, Toronto? Yeah, that's correct. No. They don't. They live in uh, Ottawa. Do we have to add... Uh, Never, yeah, add the letter S at the end of the verb leave. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, no, okay, leave. Just leave. Without S, okay? Leave, just leave. Okay, number three. Uh, does your parents work in Quito? Do, yes. do your parents. Parents là số nhiều nè em, số nhiều rồi. Do your, okay. So do your parents, do your parents work in Quito? Yes. They are. Yes, they do. Yes, yes they do, okay. Uh, they work. For the they work government, or? government. They work for the government. Okay. Number four. Okay. Number four. Uh, do the, there's a mistake. Your yeah, yeah, your your yeah, that's correct. I can't believe that. Okay. Uh, does your fiance fiance does does like your fiance hip -hop? like does your fiance like hip hop? Okay. No, no, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. He like he likes it all. Mm -hmm. He likes. He no he doesn't he what he likes he doesn't like it all he doesn't like it at all he doesn't like it at all okay do you agree with me okay cho một người thì phải thêm es vào được không em nhưng mà nếu mà thêm es vào trợ động từ rồi thì động từ không cần thêm nữa được không em hiểu không hiểu không okay. yeah that's right yeah. okay 
remember to do some revision before joining my class tomorrow. Okay, number five. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, number five. Uh, uh, yes. What? Oh, where is it? Uh, ex. Yeah. Uh. The, do her ex husband uh, see their kids? Mm -hmm. Yes. No. He. The not not do the the her một người mà em một người thì là the the what is that the here this is the 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 do Oh, okay. So does girls with singular now? Okay, do you remember that? You got it? Okay. Okay. Okay, so does her ex husband? Yes, she does. See their kids? Okay. Okay. Okay, so yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He, uh, he, he see them a lot. Yeah, that's correct. Do we have to add the letter S at the end of the verb C? No. No? How about number six? Uh, do you call your nieces every day? Yeah, no. I don't. Mm -hmm. They call me. Mm -hmm. They call you? Okay, now let's move on. Okay, let's choose your answer. What's your answer? My cousin? Uh, on the right or on yeah. the left? The right or on, on the, the left? Huh? On the right? Yeah, on the right, yeah. And exercise, okay. exercises. Okay, now, which one? Which one do you uh, choose? The, the left. The left. Yeah, that's correct. We have already add es at the end of the verb do, right? So we don't have to add his here. Okay, so how about my, number three? My in-laws. In relaxes. No, relax. You might, your in-laws, right? Có nghĩa là anh vợ, em vợ, vợ bố, bố vợ. Các kiểu dễ được không em? Là nhiều người lắm á. Là relax thôi, là nhiều người. Thì là relax, không cần thêm S. Do you get it? Yes. Ok, so how about number 4? Uh, do your... Oh, does your uncle sometimes call? Mm -hmm. Do your children uh, watch a lot of TV? Watch a lot oh, of TV? On, on the left or on the right? Do on, on the left or on the right? Call. Go. Question number four. Which one do you choose? Uh, does your uncle sometimes call? Okay. Number five. Do your children watch 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 or watches watches no that's not correct watch số nhiều rồi em children là số nhiều trai là số ít được không em trai là một okay. đứa trẻ children okay. là nhiều đứa trẻ ok sao bao năm mươi six uh, or mother-in-law cook really well. Cook with S or cook without S? Cook with S. Okay, cook with S. That's correct. Number seven. Uh, do you study at home or at school? Okay, study on the left or on the right? On the left. Okay, that's correct. Number I. My niece and new few don't go to bed late. On the left or on the right? 
on the left. Okay, that's correct. Okay. Okay, now tell me about the things that we have learned today, then we can say goodbye. Wow, that's a lot of things. Mm, tell me we about talk about uh news and uh, relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so this. how many adjectives that we can use to describe a relationship? What? How what kind of adjective we can use? What adjective we can use to describe a relationship? Can you tell me about all the new vocabularies that we learned today? Divorce. Mm -hmm. Married. Mm -hmm. Single. Mm -hmm. And anything uh, else? Uh, wife. Wife. Something. Fiance and uh, something fiancé. Um, fiance fiance cả hai chữ nó đều đọc là fiance mà nó viết khác thôi ok so engage right we use the word engage ok mm -hmm. Ok, anything else? How about chồng I cũ, vợ cũ? Ex, ex wife, ex uh, husband. Uh -huh. Ly dị là gì? Divorce. Uh -huh. That's very simple, right? Ok, see you tomorrow. Remember to do some revision before joining my class. Ok. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye.